Hi, I'm Mario. I'm Eric. And we're going to be reteaching you the tray flip. Mario, and I'm going to be teaching you the foot position for the tray flip. Now, your back foot is going to want to be pointed at an angle of like 45 degrees so you can get that real nice scoop to get the full 360 degree shove. And your front foot is either going to be like a normal kick foot for some people, but other people will have it off more or in the, right in the middle of their board. So you're gonna wanna vary up your positions, you know, like keep it in like your mid vicinity of your board, like anywhere where you could really do a kick flip. And then the back foot is gonna be same spot. You wanna be able to be balanced on your board before you do it. And now Eric is gonna be teaching you the foot motion for the tray flip. Okay, to do the tray flip, your back foot, like he said, is gonna be like this. So you scoop. It's not a uh, just shove, it's like a scoop. And you have to do it really hard because it's all about the back foot. And it causes it to go like this. Your front foot comes straight out, but see how the board's like this? It can't just come straight out because then it's not gonna flip properly. It's a straight out and it counters that. But the board will still be doing the 360, but it'll just flip that way. And if you don't come straight out, and your foot follows the board, like if you learn three shoves and you're trying to flip a three shove, that's not going to work because for three shoves your foot follows the board. For a tray flip your foot doesn't even come close to the board. It goes straight out, doesn't go behind the board, doesn't go following the board, just straight out.